The physical QWERTY keyboard, dead or alive? If any one phone is out to make the case for the QWERTY, it is the BlackBerry Q10. It's well specced, but costing as much as an iPhone, is it worth it? Well, the Q10 is a well-designed phone, but design-wise, it is not a classic. It's well-weighted and has a sumptuous tactility to its glass weave backing, though it does feel hollow. Remove the back cover and you'll reveal a removable battery underneath, complete with a micro SD card slot and a micro SIM card slot. The front is loaded up with a fantastic four-tiered QWERTY keyboard, as well as a screen and front-facing camera. The quirky 3.1-inch square display uses Super AMOLED screen technology, ensuring the deepest blacks and most saturated colours on the block. Bright, vibrant and with a pixel density of 328 pixels per inch, text looks sharp and pictures simply pop. It's worth taking a second to talk about the BlackBerry Q10's keyboard. BlackBerry users, you're going to love it. Keys are well spaced out and they have pronounced corners for improved tactility and reassuring click feedback, resulting in an awesome typing experience. Looking at the operating system, and this is the first time that we've seen BlackBerry 10 on a traditional BlackBerry form factor. So what's the verdict? Well, it's great. With the QWERTY keyboard, the OS gets exactly what it needs, a point of differentiation. The gesture-heavy input works well, despite the smaller screen size. Your apps tray, multitasking window and BlackBerry Hub are simple enough to thumb through, with the remaining gestures staying comfortable. BlackBerry 10 doesn't have an abundance of apps yet. Though messaging fiends, you should be fine, with Skype, WhatsApp, as well as BBM on board. If, however, you need the latest social apps and an abundance of 3D games, you'll be left wanting. The 8 megapixel camera around the back of the BlackBerry Q10 is a strong performer in good light. Details abundant, colors tend to be accurate, and it's pretty quick to fire. A weak point of the camera on BlackBerry Q10 is low light photography. While the flash does a great job of lighting up scenarios, without it, the name of the game is grain, so there won't be any ambience. For casual use though, it'll trump any BlackBerry you've used before, and most smartphones out there, with Full HD video recorded on the Q10 faring similarly. Check out full res samples at recombu.com along with an HD video shot on the device. When it comes to watching video on the Q10 though, it is far from ideal. It pulls up giant black bars up at the top and bottom, letterboxing the video. The loudspeaker at the base of the phone and 3.5mm headphone jack both do good jobs, making the Q10 a feasible MP3 player. There's plenty of room for all your music and movies thanks to the 16 gigabytes of onboard storage, as well as the microSD expandability. The micro HDMI port on the left hand side means you can easily plug into a TV, turning it into a nifty little media hub. And there's also a micro USB port on the left side for data and charging. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and NFC are all present, not to mention 3G and 4G connectivity for super fast mobile browsing. Moving on to the performance and the 1.5 GHz of dual-core power results in responsive touch input with no real slowdown to speak of. We were able to get a day out of the Q10 with moderate use. Pretty standard for flagships these days, though less than we anticipated. It's got a small screen and pretty big battery. What do we think though? The BlackBerry Q10 is a definite success. While we aren't over the moon with its high asking price, hollow feel, or the lack of app support, the fantastic keyboard, cohesive interface, and familiar effective form factor redeem it, and then some. It's a handset BlackBerry fans have been waiting for, and it is as simple as that.